Hey everybody, it's Wyon here. First things first, I wanted to say that I know it's been a while since Friday Night Gaming or my Early Access reviews have gone up, but I haven't forgotten them. The next game for Early Access review is Hollow Drive. After that, Darwin Project. But that's not what I'm here to do. I had a Google Doc open for a little while and had some friends of mine fill out questions on it for my high school experiences and my college experiences so I could answer them in a live and answer them in a webcam-y format so that way I could kind of describe my college experiences. Let's get into this. There will be a high school video soon, but in the meantime, this is just for college. I hope you enjoy. The first question is, what's it like living in a dorm? Well, I, it, well it, can, it, can, it can either be a good experience or a bad experience. My experiences have been mostly good. I would describe one year not being particularly good, but it's pretty good. It's kind of weird kind of adjusting to this new way of life because you don't have your parents anymore. You don't, you've got to room with a guy you don't even really know. You've got to um, get used to a new crowded way of life. You've got a new home, essentially. So I think it's a good thing to live in a dorm because it kind of pushes you over a little bit. But some people don't want to live in a dorm, and that's fine. The next question is, how, you, how are the college parties? I would know. I never went to one. Uh, what kind of clubs did you join in college? I did initially, initial, initially, I did initially join a college club for game design and game playing, but those quickly fell by the wayside because they weren't interested in anything that I was doing. Well, that sounds like an entitlement. They, I wasn't interested in anything they were doing, so I didn't go. Likewise with the game design club, and the game design club really didn't have any forward motion to it, so I didn't go to that. But other than that, that's basically it. I didn't really go to clubs. I wanted to, but I didn't find any of interest. There was a card game club, but I never went. Did you enjoy the extra freedom in you had in college, or did you feel you lacked boundaries? I actually really, really liked the freedom of college, but, you know, with that freedom comes, you know, more responsibility. You got to make sure that you don't abuse that freedom. Like, here I have the ability to spend my money as more of I see fit. I have the ability to stay up as late as I want. I can be as loud as late as I want. I can do homework whenever I really feel like it. I don't really have to go to class, but you really should. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of like that, really. It, the freedom is good because it kind of pushes you to become more independent. It pushes an independence thing and tries to get you somewhat prepared for the real world, but not by a lot. Did you live, wait, no. How did you experience your major? Uh, well, my first major was actually computer information and technology, but I scoted after the first semester into computer graphics technology, which is where I am now, and I did some summer classes to kind of speed it up, and now I'm here getting a degree. I think it went pretty well. There were some classes I didn't like, especially introduction to animation. I sucked at that class, but I think for the most part it was a very positive experience because all the professors you could talk to pretty much one-on-one. -on -one. You could get a lot of advice from them, and you could learn a whole lot from them. Definitely good. Did you live off? Oh no! Did you ex did you choose your major based on your likes or based on what is likely to get you a job? Well, it, based on what I liked, because because so, what I liked at the time was game design, but computer information technology wasn't going to get me there. That that what would get me there was computer graphics, because that's where our thing lied. But the thing is, if you, if you go to college doing what will make you the most money, and you don't like it, you're not going to be happy doing what you're doing. If, it, if possible, just go to a trade school and see what you can pick up there. But if you really want to go to college, then... Um, what's the best way to put this? If you like what you do, then you'll do what you love and you'll have a great time doing it. Because if you do what's most likely to make you money, but you're not happy doing it, then you're really just doing the wrong thing. You're not doing the right thing. Because if you're doing it only to make the money, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Because if you're going to be miserable while doing it, you won't have any positive stories to tell. Now, that's not to say you should just say, like, oh, I should deserve a job. No. But if you can't find anything specific that you like, you could always go to a trade school. Did you love off ramen? I tried ramen my freshman year, and it was disgusting. I'm sorry to all college kids. So no, I didn't live off ramen. I tried it. It may have been the type of ramen that I had. It could have been that it just wasn't properly made. I don't know. But I didn't live off ramen. I personally found it gross. Are you happy with your choice of major? I am. 
Well, I switched it first, remember. I switched from computer information to computer graphics. I'm happy where I am now. I didn't like computer information because it wasn't going to get me anywhere, and I didn't understand half of the things that were going on. But I'm happy where I am now, and I'm happy I'm getting a degree in it. What surprised you the most about college? I think what surprised me the most is that just how much freedom you really have. But, because, like, because when you're in high school, everything's pre-planned for you. You've got this class to be to, you got this assignment, all this stuff is coordinated together, and all this and that. But once you get to college, that drops by the wayside. It is completely gone. Like, you're in a whole new ball game now. And in, in reality, like, that is a huge surprise. Like, you realize just how much freedom you have now, and you realize just how independent you can become. But when you realize that free, when you when that huge rush hits you, you realize that it can be easily abused. And some people kind of get kicked out for that if you abuse the freedom of, that this college life gives you. Uh, what was, I was surprised by other things. I was surprised by the outrageous cost of textbooks. Fuck those prices. Next up. What, did you find college a lot harder than high school? Well, it depends on what area. Did I Assignment-wise... Probably yes, because pro there were many more projects, assignments, and essays, and things to do than I ever had in high school. I'm pretty sure I had a thousand times more than what I did in high school. But I didn't really have the emotional roller coaster that I did in college than I did in high school because I was kind of more of a stronger person when I went into college. And now that I'm at the other end of the now that I'm at the other end of the line, I now have a an even stronger backbone in my body, and now I'm even stronger than I was when I entered. But I will say, emotionally speaking, high school was harder, but in terms of actual schoolwork, college was definitely harder. Next up, have you joined any projects during your studies? I didn't really get this question, but I don't really understand the question, but I'll do my best to answer it. I think the only real project I did was my capstone, which is like a big semester, which is like a big major project that you have to do for your major. Mine was to do, I joined a group that I didn't mean to join. <laughs> But I went with them anyway. Our goal was to create a Jumbotron app that would connect to the live feed so you could pull uh, your spectator moments from that and kind of buy it and share it with your friends so you always have a moment to share. Uh, our goal was to make a skeletal version of that app. So like here is the basic functionality that the app works. So we did get there. We did get there just in the nick of time. We got there just in the nick of time. That's really the only major project I had to do. How did your time management approach change when starting college? Probably a lot. It changed a lot. I went through a lot of changes here. Uh, I went through a shit ton of changes here. Uh, first is time management. In high school, I was the kind of kid that would never study. And I would get A's on all my finals. And I would do all my homework like the day that it was due. Don't do that here. That will get your butt killed. That will get your butt kicked. And it nearly got mine kicked. But, like, I learned how to properly, like, manage my time. Like, okay, I need to ch block this time, block out this time, block out this time, arrange this here, put this assignment here. And honestly, doing it that way, you realize just how easy it is. Like, you can make a lot of time. If you make the proper time to do things, then you'll realize just how good you are at time management. One thing I did was I took the Reminders app on my phone. Um, well, on my iPhone. I don't know if Android has it. I'm sure they do. And what I would do is I would put like an, a reminder to say, hey, do this homework at this time. And then even if I was doing something, I have to finish that up. Well, no, if I was doing something fun, then I would have to immediately do the homework. And if I didn't finish the homework by the time the next one went off, I had to jump into the next assignment. This probably completed a lot of assignments. Very many. I'd recommend getting like a planner or your reminder app or some way to keep reminding you because trust me, your time management skills will change in college whether you like it or not. How did you choose what college to go to? Um, well, it wasn't hard. My dad got his master's here at Purdue. My mom lived and worked here. Well, no. She, well, my mom worked here at Purdue. She gradu graduated from here. My dad also worked here, too. My sister Erin went to Purdue. She graduated from here. My sisters all graduated in from here. So it was only natural that I went here, too. Plus, it was only 20 minutes away from where I lived. I lived in Lafayette for about 20 years. And uh, I don't live there anymore, sadly. But it was really easy to come, just come to this college. And yeah, it was pretty good. That was my decision. What did you hate most about college? <sighs> there were a lot of things. I hated 
that you had to pay to to access programs to do your homework. I hated that so much. It's like I already paid a crap load to enter this damn place. The least you could do is let me access these programs for free. Like WebAssign or some Australian statistics website. And the worst part is when you pay money for these sites that you only use once. It's like, oh my god, why did you have me pay for it then? What is something else that I hated? I really hated the professors who didn't really teach their, teach their classes that well. I only had a bad experience with a couple of professors, but one of them stands out to me because she could not teach her class. I didn't understand where the class was going, I didn't know what was happening, and I failed the class as a result. It was partially my fault, but she also didn't know how to teach. So, yeah. Incompetent professors and paying to do your homework. You know, the kind of the reason that we came here in the first place. Alright, what did you enjoy most about college? That's the final question. I think I enjoyed... What did I enjoy? What did I enjoy the most about college? I think what I enjoyed the most was uh, the ability to kind of like make more friends as I was here. I And like I said before, the independence and the freedom. The more one-on-one -on -one you can have your prof with your professors, isms you can have with your professors, you can more or less choose the classes and when you want to have them somewhat. You have a lot more freedom in college, as I said before, and it really helps lament that when you can like choose what time to take your classes and stuff. Yeah, like I would say I enjoyed those things about college, and I really met a lot of really good people in college, online and here. So it's sort of like, you know, it's basically like, I had a great old experience. You know, that kind of thing. What else did I enjoy? I really liked some of my roommates. They were really good. Oh, what else I enjoyed? I enjoyed the Corec, which was which is a fantastic gym here. Um, yeah, there were a lot of things I enjoyed. Take your pick of what you think I enjoyed the most. But yeah, that's basically it. Those are all the questions for um, the college portion of this document. There's a high school portion that I will do soon. But in the meantime, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.